Hey, my name is Jen O'Sullivan with Jen O'Sullivan Photography, here to tell you one tip that is a mistake that brides tend to make on their wedding day, or at least before their wedding day. Um, when you're booking your wedding photographer, I highly encourage you to ask them a very simple question as far as your timeline is concerned. So this is kind of tricky because you won't really know, I mean most photographers will answer in the positive on this one. And so this is where you might want to call the planners to see if they've worked with them before, find out from past brides their experience with them. Here's a, it's, a, it's an interesting thing that happens. We have to get the shot, right? We have shots in mind that we really want to get. You've hired us to get certain shots and usually those tend to be those romantic shots, the shots that you just love and fell in love with. It's the reason you hired that photographer. And so what happens is things get truncated, time starts kind of chipping away and you know the ceremony was a little late and then the family photos took a little longer and then you get to the portrait session with the two of you and there's not enough time. And so the photographer will just go clear into sunset and they want to get those sunset shots. Well, if the timeline wasn't followed properly, then what happens is you're late to your reception. Now, why would that matter? And most photographers don't care if you're late to their reception, they just want to get the shot. Well, your reception is the party and the celebration. That's usually the, you know, the ceremony is super important, but the party is kind of that social aspect that you want. And so what happens if you're late to your reception, it's not about your guests being upset, it's about them getting cold food. And so that is one of the biggest issues with photographers is that we tend to just lose track of the time you're late to your grand entrance, so they have, everybody has to wait for you, and because you're late to your grand entrance, the food is now behind. And the catering directors, this is a big issue for them. You've got to make sure that your wedding photographer doesn't screw up your reception. <laughs> so it seems like something that you know you would never think to ask, but it's very important to find out what your photographer does with the timeline. And they might simply say, we just go with the flow. That's a big red flag to me because we are the one vendor that's with you the whole time. And because of that, we should know the timeline. We should know when people are supposed to be where. Um, that kind of is adding a planner position now to your photographer. But any good photographer, any you know, trained photographer knows that they need to understand the timeline. So I encourage you to ask if they memorize the timeline, if they'll understand when things are. You need to look at sunset times, see when that happens, because if you're, you know, the one thing I always check when somebody tells me their ceremony time, I double check the sunset calendar. So check your sunset calendar, find out so that they're not making you late to the reception. Again, it has nothing to do with you being late, it has everything to, the, to do with the catering and the food getting out on time. It seems like weird because it has nothing to do with photography, but it's an interconnected thing that allows the whole party to go well. So it's one little tiny mistake, but it can cause a big problem at the end of the day. So hopefully that helps with your planning. And I look forward to hearing from you again, Jen O'Sullivan with Jen O'Sullivan Photography. And good luck and congratulations.